guys this is the same 2023 Hyundai Palisade that we replaced the engine uh, for and we used the donor car this one to get the engine from and we put it into this one and this is our original uh, kind of locked or damaged engine and I got that confident that I already installed the OEM hitch because I was going to the mountains and I was uh, bringing my mountain bike with me so yeah I spent some money and put the original uh, hitch and the second upgrade I would like to do is the catch can the oil catch can this is the GDI engine which means the fuel is being uh, injected directly into the cylinders and that means the fuel doesn't wash the intake valves the positive crankcase ventilation system is pretty much sent all this uh, oil mist that uh, builds up in the intake and builds up on the intake uh, valves and usually uh, it requires the intake removal to clean uh, the intake because when the intake valves are kind of gummed up with this like oil residue uh, residuals at least the idling is not good it may affect the fuel efficiency so what that thing does the air or gases uh, from the crankcase they've been sent not directly to the intake but they're gonna be sending through this kind of canister and it's gonna absorb the oil uh, from this kind of mist and the oil gonna be collected at least partially in this canister so we're gonna be sending like a cleaner I'm not sure if it's like the air is that uh, you know proper word but you know <laughs> uh, cleaner something in the intake so it uh, not so it doesn't gum up the intake valves the intake in general or it's gonna minimize the or slow the process so we won't need to clean the intake as often as often as the intake without this additional feature of course uh, this will require us to um, empty this uh, canister once in a while because it's gonna ac accumulate oil in there but that's pretty much the whole reason why we install it hopefully I explain it you know <laughs> easy enough and not too too confusing so uh, the installation should be pretty straightforward uh, there is this bracket right here uh, we're gonna install the bracket right on this bolt this bolt holds the uh, the expansion tank the coolant expansion tank right here in place and uh, this is our PCV hose that we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna pretty much install this item part in between of this hose and the intake um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough space for me to operate with this uh, hose right here so I'm, s I'm gonna see if I need to remove it or not uh, it depends how stuck is this hose on this on, on, uh, on this on this nipple right here so I'm gonna take my uh, pliers long nose pliers and I'm gonna remove this retainer spring and I'm gonna attempt to remove this hose let's check if this uh, hose and clamp gonna be cooperating or not not really convenient for me to do it like a left-handed since I'm a right-handed person so
aqui. Let's see how tight is the hose. I mean, this engine got 19,000 miles on it or so, so it shouldn't be very. Oh, okay. Like just a little, little persuasion, and then the hose is removed. Okay. In the kit, there are two hoses, and the one with this like elbow, we're gonna be putting on the intake manifold side and that's the other one it's gonna go to the hose that we just disconnected it's already comes with this like a fitting and we're simply gonna insert it into the hose nothing special extra is required um, i'm gonna use this clamp that came with the with the kit and i'm gonna install this clamp probably just like this and I'm gonna attempt to uh, attach this hose to the it's, it's kind of very loose I would say very loose so there is no effort for me even to attach the hose I am tightening the clamp The clamp is tight, so this is gonna go to our catch can, and the second hose from the kit goes to the hose that we removed. I'm gonna use those pliers hopefully or no maybe just fingers actually no fingers is not enough I'm gonna bring another pliers so let's try Unfortunately, I don't have a long nose straight pliers. All my pliers are uh, angled, that are long. No worries. So I just installed this clamp. This is the clamp from the kit. And now we have two hoses from there I'm going right here. Uh, going next, I'm gonna install this bracket. So the letters are pointed the same way. Just two bolts and the Phillips screwdriver. Let me, by the way, open the catch can for you to see what's inside. So, this is the intake side 
so all this kind of oily mist goes into here and then it's been condensated into this uh, canister and there is like a mesh metal filter that prevents the oil to you know raise up and go into the outlet of the catch can so i'm gonna put it back okay let's mount the catch can I will tighten it for now. So this okay, this goes to the kind of intake part. This goes to the intake part. very nicely this goes to the to exhaust part I don't like how how tension is the you know I'm gonna reroute this part that goes from from the crankcase um, I wasn't able to reroute the hose better, but however what I did, I changed or replaced those two hoses. So I uh, removed the other hose from this uh, 90 degree angle and I put, you know, I kind of swapped them because one of the hoses uh, was slightly longer than the other one and i'm not sure if it's been oversight on a factory but once i uh, you know replaced them swapped them miraculously both of them are now absolutely just fine in terms of the length there is nothing kind of stretching and now i can uh, uh, tighten this clamp normally or the one that goes inside the intake manifold same thing we did with you just a few moments ago but at least now they both seem to be kind of equal tension I would say and now I can tighten this catch can in the kit they also provided this zip tie so I'm gonna simply zip tie it just lightly you know to the other hose on the intake should be fine I can cut or snip this extra piece but no worries nothing is super tight nothing is kind of kinked uh, that's it that's job done so nothing needs to be kind of disassembled in order to get to the uh, uh, PCV hose uh, literally you know 10 minute install at most and I spent more because I swapped those two hose fittings those uh, fittings that the hose came with they've been pretty tight and uh, but no worries it's just like that almost like stock there you have it so system is installed uh, looks like nothing is forgotten all the clamps are clamped hose is routed so
so uh, the only thing that left to do with this car to be honest are the front axle nuts I already bought them I just need to put them and torque them properly uh, still don't have time to do it all oh it's pretty hard to like let's start the engine everything starts no warning lights and it doesn't flicker on in life it just flickers on the camera the radio works the seat ventilation works uh, it actually took me some time to get the seat ventilation fixed because not only the front seat ventilation control module uh, was uh, damaged and there is only one module for those two seats in the front for both seats one module uh, and in addition those fans or blower motors inside both front seats were shot right now both been replaced modules been replaced and this vehicle has a zero electrical or mechanical gremlins I already put uh, I don't know about thousand miles on the car since I replaced the engine and uh, that's it I bought some uh, WeatherTech floor mats they're pretty expensive new I found the used set on eBay for uh, 120 bucks for first and second row plus the trunk uh, trunk mat and I thought it's gonna be nice to protect the interior so yeah there you have it literally everything works in this car like everything all right so that's the flood damage and by the way I still didn't clean the <laughs> didn't clean the residuals from the flood damage it's kind of reminds me of it hopefully this video was somewhat useful at least entertaining maybe so uh, there you have it I'll see you in the next video